Hey everyone, I decided to do something uh, a little different from what I usually post this week and I'm featuring a lot of the mammals that I've encountered while filming and photographing birds here in North Florida. The video clips you're about to see have been collected over the last three or four years and some of them go back longer than that. The first species I'm going to feature is one of my favourites and that's the Florida black bear. And we came across this bear on the way down to Ball Point State Park one day. So I pulled off the road and got out and set my camera up behind a, a large bush. I was probably about 75 yards away from, from it. And it was acting kind of strange and looked anxious and nervous. And then uh, it became obvious why uh, she had a couple of cubs and, and was wanting to get them safely across the road. She must have waited a good 10 minutes to let all the vehicles that had stopped head on off and then she brought them out. The cotton rat is a small species of rodent that I come across down at St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge almost every day when the weather's good. They're often just right by the side of the road and are easy to film and photograph. Another species that's easy to film and photograph is the grey squirrel, of course, which everyone has in their backyard and they're all over the place, really. They can be really photogenic at times. Another um, squirrel that we have is the eastern fox squirrel and they're not nearly as easy to see, film or photograph. Uh, these two photographs here are the only ones I've got of this species. Bottlenose dolphins are, are really common around uh, Florida in our coastal waters and we come across them fairly often and I've had the fortune of, of getting really close amazing looks at them as they feed feed close inshore and they're often accompanied by pelicans and other birds
otters are probably my favourite mammal along with the black bear and they're not as easy to film and, and photograph they can be secretive at times and they usually come out in the evening or early morning so you have to be in the right place at the right time and thankfully I have been on, on a few occasions This particular one at Wakulla Springs was just a treat to watch. It was uh, swimming against the current and catching crayfish every few minutes. And of course we have uh, manatees and if you've watched some of my other videos you'll have seen me feature manatees before because I only live a mile, just over a mile away from Wakulla Springs and you can see manatees there all year round. And they're most common in the winter when the weather is cold as they gather at the spring head because the waters are constant 70, 72 degrees all year round. Another amazing encounter I had in the last couple of years was with this bobcat at St. Mark's. It really didn't seem too bothered by me being so close to it and filming, filming it as it was hunting and then eventually it, it settled down and, and took a quick cat nap. Although I'm not sure how it could sleep with all the noise around it red-winged blackbirds singing and pig frogs calling.
And then it stared over at me and got spooked and slowly stood up. Walked slowly across the dike, keeping low to the ground. And it gave me one last look before it disappeared down the bank into the undergrowth. I just remember feeling incredibly lucky to have spent such a long time with this beautiful animal. So the beginning of the video featured this white-tailed deer fawn. It was actually filmed quite some time ago at Three Lakes Wildlife Management Area, which is in central Florida. And then I made a, a YouTube short about this female white-tailed deer that was snorting at me. And this is a behavior that deer, deer show when they, they feel there's a threat close by or the danger is nearby. And they're alerting the other deer to um, the presence of that danger. They'll often stomp their foot as well when they sense danger. Almost all of the deer I encounter are either does or, or young, young deer very rarely see um, bucks because they mostly come out at night and in the evening at Wakulla Springs I came across this beautiful buck as I was leaving the park. And then of course we have the beloved raccoon um not everybody's favorite but i really love raccoons they're so fun to watch and uh it's nice seeing them in the wild in, a, in our area rather than in an urban area getting into people's garbage cans and causing all kinds of problems because people feed them which is illegal in florida Well, that's a wrap for this week's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a, a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, um, please go ahead and, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, and I'll catch you next time.